Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard. In today's video, we have a massive Epic Universe update. So, let's get right into it. This is all thanks from the we can shut. I want to start off at the entrance to the park where lots of rock work is wrapping up and looking nice and weathered looking fantastic. You can see some kiosks as well. There's still frames for the kiosks under construction and the pavement installed for most for the most part as well. Here's a wider shot of that entrance. This is going to be the ticketing and security area. Of your gift shops, your first aid, all your, your uh, guest services basically over here. The nice little mini park like setting here. Over in the Celestial Park itself, this phase two restaurant is really sprouting up. This will still open a little bit after the park opens, but it's making great progress with the steel and roof already erected. But again, this will open just a few months, I'm sure, after the initial park opens. We have kiosks still um, under construction, still frame for those. Those information kiosks and other. Uh, assortments and shops and stuff in the Celestial Park and has a wider shot of the Atlantic restaurant looking pretty good the scaffolding on the Atlantic restaurant is all but gone there's just some on the left side of the restaurant the lunar overlook area is looking fantastic this will be the statue of Luna here and there's two torches because it was revealed in the Grand Helios video that every evening there'll be some kind of ceremony because between the Luna and the Helios so like the moon and the sun and these torches probably light up and there'll be some kind of lighting ceremony each evening when the sun goes out which is pretty cool um there is supposed to be a, a helio statue by the grand helios hotel in front of that there's kind of a platform and new torches over there so we'll see when that's under construction but yeah it'll be a pretty cool little ceremony i'm excited for the statue and this new interactive feature when the park opens Looking at Celestial or Constellation Carousel style, that looks fantastic. I still love that the clouds on the top there and the kind of the darker blue to emulate the nighttime skies you go up. That's pretty awesome as well. You got the blue painted uh, surface there for the water and see water jets aligning the area there. Looks almost just about complete. Can't wait till it's all filled up and they're testing whatever water features they have going on here. Meteor Astro Pubs also looking almost complete. They're still working on the exterior areas, but the interior areas, and I'm sure they're working on the interior areas, but the exterior of the main building looks to be just about done. And I love that color palette as well. We're at the main hub, the main lagoon over here. Uh, I forgot what this was called, but this main body water where the show is. Behind there is the Helios Hotel. There's all those fountains and a little star shape. Um, it looks great, and the rock work is done over here too, which is cool. Looking at the blue dragon, this is almost complete on the side. They even got the little blue paint on the top there of the blue dragon. But this restaurant looks fantastic. It looks really good at nighttime with some, some porches there by the entrance. And I uh, can't wait to eat it. Here's one overall. Look at the Kronos and the entrance to the park again with the guest services and ticketing and security areas. Looks great. Really shaping up for its summer 2025, 2025 opening. Rumored to be in June. Over in Darkmoor, the weathering continues on the building and cherry picker, cherry pickers line in the area to put on final small details, but overall looking very, very good. Here's another shot of Darkmoor and that entrance, that iconic and now iconic entrance that we saw in the reveal video. And there's a there's a the pathway to somewhere that might be one of the restaurants or the monster makeover area. The entrance to Monsters Unchained has gotten its full circle. Again, each one of these main attractions seems to have that kind of like celestial circle, that little area. You know, we see that in the portals, this little plaza area, and now we see it in front of the main attractions. I love the really dark, the dark, uh, you know, patterns over here. And there even some landscaping going where I'm sure some water will be going underneath the moat. That Monsters Unchained looks like we're finally getting ready to see that Topper pieces, all the scaffolding has been removed except for that center piece with the main topper that has still not been installed. So, very excited about that. But other than that, the exterior looks fantastic. Testing continues on the Curse of the Werewolf coaster, which is just about complete, honestly, except for maybe some Q stuff. The actual coaster is complete. The cars are painted in these beautiful colors. And yeah, just continue testing from here on out until next month. Now, let's head over to Harry Potter. Over at the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. You got the, um, you know, it's that force for perspective street here and the toppers to that building are you seen in the backstage or see they're being staged and they're going to be placed on that building and it's going to make it look very far away. This is that area where, you know, the stairs are, the stairs will be roped off, but these are going to be the stairs and it'll look like the street goes on forever, but really it just ends here and there'll be a second attraction eventually behind in this 
dirt space behind this area. Here is the main attraction, though. The battle for the Ministry of Magic um, here. And it's to the right of the statue. The statue has been uncovered here at the end of the street. And there's some words there. I cannot read them or I cannot pronounce them. It says Magica. That's one of them. So probably magic. And the street, streets of Paris look fantastic. You'll see in the whole uh, update here, they're just doing, you know, doing, doing painting and, and styling and decorating the streets with different colors. But other than that, it looks fantastic. As we move the streets of Paris, you'll see a lot of buildings in different colors and different paintings and stuff to make it more like authentic Paris and also to really enforce that you're in like in a wizard or magical land, not just in the streets of Paris. And see that here out of cherry pickers, they're just painting stuff, and there's a circus tent entry for that show, for the, the show in the land as well. More texture details and facade details on these buildings that look fantastic. I love the little the rows of chimneys that's pretty cool as well but yeah i'm sure a lot of these of these structures you probably can't go into but there'll be you know magical wand experiences new wand experiences for these new wand or wand 3.0 um which should be debuting pretty soon and then it'll be magical animatronics and magical creatures just poking you throughout the land um as these are all real to life five story uh, scale buildings like in paris which is really awesome again these cool uh, architecture details this is good because parents you know they're all about art and love and art so you know having these paintings and sculptures and stuff on the buildings really evokes paris and so i like how they're not just all plain white buildings but they're some bricks some blue some pink like these there's some glasses like an optometry area right over there um and here you go there's only real scaffolding on this building here the main looks like one of the tallest buildings here just has some scaffolding and they'll probably paint some details. Other than that, it looks the rest of the land looks pretty much complete from the exterior. As we take an overview shot, um, I say pretty much complete from the exterior because yes, there have been uh, at least reported delays with the ride system because it, it's a very complex ride system. So there's these rumors of when the land will open, will the, will the land open up the park and the ride open later? Will it all open at the same time? How will they do that? I guess we'll see the whole park is supposed to be in phased opening. Yeah. You know, um, so maybe a couple lands will open later, we'll have to see, but that one thing else besides the ride looks just about complete, except for some scaffolding in a few areas, but that should get done in just a few months. Over at the Island of Birth, where things are mostly complete, this should definitely open with the park, because the rides aren't too complex, and most of the outdoor theming is complete here, like these wonderful dragon eggs by the land's second launch, and the Viking training camp to the right-hand side. Over here we have, uh, just kind of the, the village area. Where all the dragon houses are, we'll show you a little bit later, a uh, closer look later, but that is where the land's main gift shop is. But I love these themed pathways that are starting to be poured too. Over here at the Dragon, Ra dragon Racer Rally, you see all the dragon houses are installed with the dragons um, they are there in their houses. And the supports have been put up for um, Q structures. It's going to be Q shading. Um, I'm sure it'll be just one giant Q, then you'll split off between the two, uh, two vehicles. Um, what you'll just go right or left um, type of thing. It won't be two separate queues, just one giant queue, which makes the most sense for space and efficiency. And the new structure is to be like a, a berm structure to kind of tie into the Dragon Racers Rally, but it also hides you from backstage areas and also queue. This will be like, looks like another kind of grandstand or smaller grandstand facing the, the, the Dragon Racer Rally. I wonder if there'll be more dragons or humans in there. And here's more Q space as for the pickup wing gliders here. This is for the exterior Q. They have all the pulls up for trade sales and supports uh, for, uh, you know, covered theming for a nice indoor Q or indoor outdoor Q. For the main village area, you can see the um, the Mead Hall there, exit, and there's a gift shops and stuff around here. And this is where that center fountain was going to be. There's going to be, sorry, and enough to interact with meet and greets and stuff like that. Scalping on the left side and on the right side of this area, but this should be off in a few months. And there's even a little dragon head um, popping up on one of those little buildings to the left hand side. Here's another shot of the dragon head and a couple of dragon heads, heads now and the whole village area. Here is that closer shot I was talking about about the main gift shop. See the main gift shop for the land with a whole bunch of dragon houses and a whole bunch of dragon tails and animatronic heads moving, taking their, uh, you know, heads out of these windows it's cool and don't forget there'll be a drone dragons multiple 
Toothless, and many other dragons flying over the land in a routine period, probably maybe every 30 minutes to an hour or so. I don't know the time, exact time period, but in the skies, because there'll be drone dragons flying around as was testing just a few weeks ago. Over at Fire Drill, we have a lot more of the targets installed for the props that we, you'll be hitting, including um, that character, I forgot his name, but there's a couple of those characters there trying to fire a cannon. You, another shot of the upper level area here, lots, lots of theming, lots of shading going on and landscaping going on in this land as well. Over at Super Nintendo World, we have a lot of stuff happening. You can see a lot of stuff that resembles Japan's version and of course our version. That's the center area is the character meet and greet stage that is being built. It's going to be on the lower level over there right by the stairs and the rest of the lower level it's can pretty concrete still um no toads uh so total cafe uh had a logo yet but that hopefully will be the next thing that comes in this area peach's castle lots of uh, staging uh area uh, lots of pieces being staged behind super nintendo world 4 peach's castle but right now it's still all concrete and ready to go but some color is starting to form on the perimeters like here, here's a lot of color, and here is that Kuka Crank game, the one I, it's my least favorite game there um, to the left hand side, but I do like the shell game that's to the right, the pow 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 game, as I call it. That one's pretty fun, as there's different levels there. Uh, looks, lots of color here, it looks fantastic. Moving over to Bowser's Castle, and this is probably the biggest progress, is his head is being installed, you see his nose being installed. The main turret is being installed, and they're really working on his head. So, and you even see like his claws right there on the bottom, which is really, really cool. That's why I made this my thumbnail picture because I thought this is pretty dope. Um, so I'm excited for Bowser's Castle. They have the massive Bowser's Castle over there. I have a bit of a smaller one here in Hollywood, but I'm excited to see the full, complete one here in Orlando. And here's a shot of Mount Beanpole as well as the uh, Yoshi Adventure Cars test for Donkey Kong Country testing news on. The minecart test uh, attraction. They're doing full circuit testing with multiple cars. I would construct got a lot of videos, so definitely go follow him on Twitter because he's actually posting more videos now of ride testing, which is pretty awesome. And but here's just a shot of a still shot of one of the cars testing on the tracks. The plane, forgot the name for this, but the plane gift shop is just about on the exterior. This will be the lands, mini lands. Main gift shop and more theme pavement. I love that theme pavement, um, that Donkey Kong Desert type jungle type theming on the ground right there. It's pretty awesome. Another shot of the Donkey Kong Country area. There's a new bridge. It's probably, I'm guessing, maybe from the exit of the attraction. Looks like it goes past the waterfall, and uh, it'll be, and the entrance or the exit of the attraction will be right here. And yeah, the shade cells. This is again the type of exterior shading that you'll see at those other attractions that we saw those supports for the shade cells on and we're gonna wrap it up here star fall racer star fall racer looks fantastic with the meteor or comet under construction they're still under lots of scaffolding but it should be getting paint and more touch-ups pretty soon and the exterior queue for star fall racers looks pretty awesome too i like how it winds around and it's pretty wide so it'll be lots of um lots of stanchions and lots of switchbacks in this particular area, I'm sure there'll be plenty of shade cells to cover it up and make it a uh, make it you know, more comfortable experience. And that's going to do it for this epic universe update. If you like this video, press this press the thumbs up. Let me know what your favorite land, most favorite anticipated ride is in the comments below. Subscribe for more theme park updates. And if you want to help out the channel, become a member for early access to videos just like this one. And as always, have a epic day.